All right, guys, so I say this quite a bit on my channel because it's just true. If you want to know what direction we're headed in, the direction that the woke revolutionaries, the progressives, want to take this country, look no further than Europe. They want us to be just like Europe. And if any of you guys have ever been to Europe or know anything about Europe and their laws around free speech, uh, they're a lot more restrictive than our laws are. Okay, I know it feels like today in our political environment, that free speech in America is under attack, it's basically dead. But if you go to Europe, it's even worse. And this story right here is a prime example of what I'm talking about and why people should be paying attention because this is the future of the United States if the woke revolutionaries ultimately get their way. A future in which you can be arrested for stating facts. Like this actress stated, this Norwegian filmmaker, she stated a simple fact that uh, men cannot be lesbians and because she stated that uh, she is now facing up to three years in prison for violating hate speech laws again as crazy as that sounds as Orwellian as that sounds this is where we're headed okay this is exactly the future that we're headed to if the woke revolutionaries get their way I mean just look no further than the Democrats and the influence that they try to have over Twitter, okay? And how they label anything that goes against their narrative as dangerous, as hateful. It must be censored. It can't be heard. It can't be seen. So without further ado, let's read about this because this should be concerning to everybody. This is coming to the United States, I'm telling you. A woman in Norway is facing up to three years in prison on criminal hate speech charges after saying that a man cannot be a lesbian. Now. I mean, let's examine this statement here. A man can't be a lesbian. Now, a lesbian is is a woman that likes women, right? I believe that that's what a lesbian is. That's the definition of a lesbian. A, a man is not a woman. A man can't be a woman, so it's not possible for a man to be a lesbian unless you define a lesbian as somebody that likes women regardless of whether or not they, they are a man or a woman regardless of their biological sex but i don't think that that's the actual definition of lesbian tanji jinjan a lesbian filmmaker and actress was informed on november 17th that she was under investigation for speaking out against prominent norwegian activist christine jintoff on facebook jintoff is a transgender female that often refers to herself as a lesbian mother lesbian mother transgender female which means they're a biological male which means that the term lesbian mother would not apply to them because they're not lesbian okay because they're not a woman <laughs> and they're not a mother because they're not a woman i can understand why she would speak that she's stating a material fact based off the definitions that we know gentoff previously accused another woman christina Ellingson of transphobia for a similar claim. Ellingson is also under investigation and faces three years in jail if found guilty. The post on Jin John's Facebook page under investigation read, it's just as impossible for men to become a lesbian as it is for men to become pregnant. Men are men regardless of their sexual fetishes. Yeah, so the crazy part here is that, again, this is a fact, and this person may be facing jail time for it. Uh... You also have another person. Again, this person right here, Christina Ellingson, who is also under investigation and is facing jail time for stating facts. Again, facts have become hate speech. Biological facts have become hate speech. That's the territory we're going into here, folks. You can be jailed for stating biological facts. Jin John uh, has said that she intentionally posted her Facebook message to draw attention to Norway's hate speech laws. Jinjan uh, comments appeared to be under investigation for falling under a 2020 amendment to the country's penal code that added gender identity and gender expression under protected categories from hate speech. People found guilty of hate speech face a fine or up to one year in prison for private remarks and a maximum of three years for public comment. Yeah, so this is what the world revolutionaries want. This is what they're actively fighting for. When they say they're fighting for trans rights, this is what they mean. They're fighting for this. They're fighting for the right to lock you up if you say anything that they define as hateful, aka if you don't agree with the agenda. No matter how radical the agenda is, okay, no matter how far they go, if you disagree with it, 
You are hateful. You are anti-trans. You are a bigot, right? This is what they say. And ultimately, they want to lock you up in prison because they don't want to deal with anybody who will not validate their reality, a reality that is simply imaginary. They don't want you to be able to live your life. They don't want you to be free. Women's rights activists, including the Women's Declaration International Norway, of which Ellingson is a representative, have claimed that the amendment undermines free speech and expression in the country. This is not the first time uh, Jin John has spoken out on controversial topics surrounding gender and women's rights. Last year, uh, Jin John confronted Antoinette Treta Burgess Stuan, uh, Norway's Minister of Culture and Reality, <laughs> claiming that misconstruing gender identity and biological sex has harmful and discriminatory implications for women, especially lesbians. Uh, yeah, it, it actually really does. Okay, it, it really does because what happens is that you have these transgender women who, because they believe they're women, uh, if they say that uh, I am a lesbian, even though they are a man, uh, they feel like they are forcing lesbians to have to sleep with them, right? Because they say they're lesbian. And a lesbian says, look, I don't want to sleep with a transgender woman because they're actually a male. That lesbian gets labeled as transphobic, right? They get labeled as a bigot because they refuse to sleep with a biological male who identifies as a woman. Therefore, they categorize themselves as a lesbian, right? Yeah, I hope you guys understand how that, how that, how that works. Quote, will the equality minister take action to ensure that lesbian women's human rights are safeguarded by making it clear that there are no lesbian with penises, that males cannot be lesbians regardless of their gender identity, and by tidying up the mess of the harmful gender policies left behind by the previous government, Jin John asks. You know, it's a shame that you have a minister of equality, a equality minister. Again, this is the type of stuff that uh, the Biden administration and Democrats want to establish in this country, right? That's what they want. I do not share an understanding of reality where only two biological sexes are to be understood as sex. Gender identity is also important. T, I'm just going to call him that, T replied. The first discrimination charge in Norway that centered on gender identity was filed in 2018. The case centered on a transgender woman who complained that she was asked not to shower in the woman's locker room of a sports center, according to female-led news organization Redux. Yeah, so this person was charged with discrimination because a transgender woman complained about not being allowed to shower in a woman's locker room, right? AKA being allowed to expose... Um, their penis to, to women, if, if they still have a penis. But regardless, um, again, this is what's happening in Norway. Again, this is coming to the United States. I'm telling you guys, this is what they want. Similar cases have cropped up across Europe, including Finland, where religious freedom uh, cases saw tensions rise between free speech and LGBTQ advocates. In March, Finnish member of parliament, uh, Pravi Rasanen, and Lutheran bishop, uh, Johanna uh, Pohoya, were acquitted of all charges in their case. Rasanen faced three charges of ethnic agitation for a 2004 pamphlet for taking part in a discussion on a radio show in 2019 and most recently for tweeting a picture of the Bible. Wow. Imagine facing charges for tweeting a picture of the Bible, right? Incredible. In a 2019 tweet, uh, Rasanen questioned her church's sponsorship of an LGBTQ pride event and linked to an Instagram post with a picture of Romans 1, 24-27, which calls same-sex intercourse shameful. Pohoya faced one count of ethnic agitation for hosting a pamphlet written by Rasenin on his church's website, similarly critical of gay men and women. Norway is considered to be one of the most liberal countries in Europe for LGBTQ individuals, even allowing people to legally change their gender without the need for a medical diagnosis. Yeah, so I, I guarantee you that's a disaster, right? That leads to all types of confusion and, and other calamities that simply uh, should not happen and do not have to happen. Again, unless you have a society that is basically going down the drain, uh, that has no morality, uh, that is based on nonsense like Norway. But again, this is a cautionary tale, guys. This is what's coming to the United States. I mean, it might not be next year, might not be five years from now, but best believe, there's no doubt in my mind, if things continue to go to where they're going, we're talking about 20, 30 years 
down the road. Uh, we're going to be at the point where, again, if you misgender somebody, you can be facing a hard time. Okay, they can throw you in prison for it. I'm just saying, that's what it seems like we're headed. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.